The Mask was released in 1994 and was directed by Chuck Russell. It's about Stanley who works at a bank and he falls in love with a girl named Tina and he then finds a mask and puts it on which turns him into a green face guy and starts becoming an unstoppable wild man. So, I know it may seem as a big surprise for me to review The Mask. Well, it actually all started out with a little story. One of my SNAs in school, who's kind of like a uh, teacher, like a special needs assistant, as I'm autistic and all, um, she sent me a package and it had a lot of st a few stuff. Um, two of these dairy, big dairy milk bars, um, a card, and three movies because she felt I could review them. And she sent me The Mask with Jim Carrey, uh, Dumb and Dumber. Uh, um, if I. I may give this a review, I'll definitely watch it, and if I do give it um, a watch, I may review it, and I may even review the sequel, because I think, I believe there's two of them, and Adam Sandler's Happy Gilmore, and I believe this is one of Adam Sandler's best from what I've heard, I think this came around, like, 2003, yeah, it's a DVD came around 2003, and basically, I was, I review I watched The Mask last night, and for what it was, I thought it was a pretty uh, decent movie. I thought it was very enjoyable and fairly entertaining for what it was. And um, I enjoyed the movie for what it was. It was a nice story. It was enjoyable. It was entertaining. It was decent. I liked the... the it had a lot of heart. It had, you know, a fairly executed, well-told storyline. And it was just, you know, a decently told nice little story and I thought it was very funny. I thought the idea of a main character um, having to deal with the controls of a mask that's uh, releasing an alternate ego, I thought that was executed well. It was interesting seeing him deal with that. I thought that was cool. I thought it was very, it was very well done. The relationships were well done. It was just, I, I don't have a lot to say. It was just a decently told story and I just thought it was just, I just enjoyed it for what it was. I've got a, a little bit of issues. I thought the climax was kind of weak. I thought it just felt a bit flat. I thought the end of it was pretty funny. Um, where, I won't spoil it because it is pretty funny. Where someone's threatening to do something. And it doesn't, it's not as scary as it is after they turn the people away. I thought that was funny. I also thought the movie was just, had some good humour. It was very funny. It was, it got a few laughs out of me. A good few chuckles. And it was just... It was pretty fun, and it was just a lot of fun. The acting, I thought, was great. I think Jim Carrey did an excellent job uh, playing this character. Cameron, Cameron Diaz did well. I thought all the actors portrayed the characters well. They all seemed like they were having a lot of fun. I even watched some of the bonus material. It seemed like it was a fun movie that was in production back in 1994. Well, I'm sure it was in production in 1993. And it was just... I just thought it was just a fun, decent movie. Stanley was a very funny character and was very entertaining to watch and it was interesting seeing him deal with the controls of the mask. Tina was a pretty good love interest and the chemistry between her and Stanley was executed well. I also loved Milo the dog, he was adorable. I felt the other characters, there wasn't, they were good enough, like they were good, like I guess they were good, but there wasn't a lot to them. It, there was a bit, I don't know, I just felt like there wasn't really a lot to them. Um, maybe they could have had maybe more screen time. Um, as it was more focused on the two main characters, Tina and Starley, which I mentioned. And I also thought the antagonists were kind of bland. Maybe they could have... I don't know. They just... Everyone else... I just, I just thought they were good. Like, you know, they were they were good. But maybe I just think they could have had maybe a little more screen time. Or maybe that's just how I see it. But maybe that could change on the possible rewatch. Because I'd definitely be more than happy to watch it again. And the music was also very entertaining. It was very catchy and very fun and very old style, like dun 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 dun, which, you know, you'd get in these kind of movies. As It was just, it was a fun, decent movie, and I enjoyed it for what it was. I didn't think it was perfect, but, you know, sometimes you can just have a good movie. I mean, not every movie has to be perfect, and that's true. So, yeah, overall, it was a good movie. So overall, I thought The Mask was a pretty good movie, and I'm thankful for my SNA sending it, and I'm glad I gave it a watch, as I liked it for what it was. I didn't think it was perfect, but I enjoyed the movie for what it was, and I just thought it was a decent good movie. I'm gonna give The Mask a 7 out of 10. So yeah, um, that's it for my review of The Mask. I have two other requests uh, to do, and one of them was actually an old childhood classic, so I will review that soon. 
Um, but as for Dumb and Dumber and Happy Gilmore, I may review them. If I do, I do. And if I do end up reviewing Dumb and Dumber, I will definitely give the second one a watch. As I'd like, to, I like reviewing. I like watching the whole series of something um, of a, of a film series. But yeah. So overall, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. And until then, skidoosh guys, and have a great day.